Welcome to our first ever OpenAI Dev Day. So now, on to the new stuff, and we have got a lot. Let's go. Today, we are launching a new model. Ooh. GPT-4 Turbo. GPT-4 Turbo will address many of the things that you all have asked for. GPT-4 supported up to 8K, and in some cases, up to 32K context oh, length. 64, 128. GPT-4 Turbo supports up to 128,000 tokens Damn. of context. Cloud 2 is old news. We're also updating the knowledge cutoff. GPT-4 Turbo has knowledge about the world up to April of yeah. 2023, and we will continue to improve that over time. And with our new text-to-speech model, you'll be able to generate incredibly natural-sounding natural audio from text in the API with six preset voices to choose from. I'll play an example. Did you know that Alexander Graham Bell, the eminent inventor, was enchanted by the world of sounds? His ingenious Pretty mind good. led to the creation of the graphophone, which etched sounds onto wax, making voices whisper through time. There's actually one more developer request that's been even bigger than all of these, and that's pricing. OK, let's see the new prices. GPT-4 Turbo is the industry leading model. It delivers a lot of improvements that we just covered, and it's a smarter model than GPT-4. OK, We've heard that's a big claim. And GPT-4 Turbo is considerably cheaper than GPT-4 by a factor of 3x for prompt tokens and 2x for completion tokens. Okay. We're lucky to have. So I'd like to bring on a special guest, Satya, Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. How is Microsoft thinking about the partnership? <laughs> the best investment <laughs> it ever made. We love you guys. <laughs> oh, of course. And how do you think about the future? Future of the partnership or future of AI or whatever? Yeah, there. <laughs> Anything you want. <laughs> That's a big question. Uh, to me, ultimately, AI is only going to be useful if it truly does empower, right? I mean, I saw the video you played early. I mean, that was fantastic. Well, I think we have the best partnership in tech. I'm excited for us to build AGI together. No, I'm really um, excited. So we have shared a lot of great updates for developers already, and we got a lot more to okay, come. OK, the chat GPT updates. Come on. Even though this is a developer us. conference, we can't resist making some improvements to chat GPT. Of course. Chat GPT now uses GPT-4 Turbo with all the latest Huge. improvements, including the latest knowledge cutoff, which will continue to update. That's all live today. And we heard your feedback, that model picker, extremely annoying. That is gone starting today. You will not have to click around the drop down menu. All of this will just work together. But that's not the main thing. I want to talk about where we're headed. Custom models. And the main thing we're here to talk agents. about today. You'll just ask a computer for what you need, and it'll do all of these tasks for you. These capabilities are often talked in the AI field about as agents. The upsides of this are going to be tremendous. So today, we're taking our first small step that moves us towards this future. We're thrilled to, uh, we're thrilled to introduce GPTs. GPTs are tailored versions This is going to be huge. OK, so this is like a play models. on character AI, basically. You can build a GPT, a customized version of ChatGPT for almost <laughs> anything. That's the instructions. That's They'll make it easier for you to accomplish all sorts of tasks or just have more fun. And you'll be able to use them right within ChatGPT. We're going to show you what GPTs are, how to use them, how to build them. And then after that, for developers, we're going to show you how to build these agent-like experiences into your own apps. If a teacher asks it to explain for loops in a creative way, it does just that. Canva has built a GPT. If you say, make a poster for dev, a dev date reception this afternoon. Yeah, I guess plugins you give it are some going details. to be gone. So now, we'd like to show you a GPT live. So to start, where your GPT will live is on this upper left corner. And on the right hand side, you can see that's my calendar for today. To start, I can ask, what's on my schedule for today? So right here, I'm going to say aloud. GPT is designed to take in your instructions, make the decision on which capability to call to perform that action, and then execute that for you. So what if I want to let Sam know that I have to leave early? And then I'm going to say, yes, please run that. Sam, did you get that? I did. Awesome. We've made it so that you can program a GPT just by having a conversation. Programming in English. Computers in the future. English is going to be the new programming language. So I'd like to show you how to build one. So I want to create a GPT uh, that helps give founders and developers advice when starting new projects. Why combinate a GPT? I'm going to go to create a GPT here. Okay, this is super simple UI, YC, beautiful UI. Whenever. To start, GPT Builder asks me what I want to make. And I'm going to say, I want to help startup founders grill them <laughs> on why they are not growing faster. <laughs> so to start off, I just tell the GPT a little bit about, about what I want here. And it's going to go off and start thinking about that. Okay. And it's going to write some detailed instructions for the GPT. 
Um, okay, so it's also oh, gonna, let's see. Ask it's like writing its own system message. Sure. And you can see here on uh, on on the right in the preview mode that it's already starting to fill out the GPT. So it just generated a candidate. Of course, I could regenerate that or change it, but I sort of like that. And you see now that the GPT is being built out a little bit more as we go. So you can see some of the things that were built out here as we were going um, by by the builder itself. Um, I'm going to add one more thing to the instructions here, which is be concise and constructive <laughs> with feedback. Okay, yeah, that's essential. Every custom instructions needs that. And now uh, we can try it out over on this preview tab. What are three things to look for when hiring employees? Now it's going to look at that document I uploaded. Smart, gets things done. Culture that's of pretty it. good. Those are three. Of things course, you want to get the culture of it. You know. Uh, I'm going to publish this only to me for now. Uh, I can work on it later. I can add more content. I can add a few actions that I think would be useful, um, and then I can share it publicly. So that's what it looks like to create a GPT. By the way, I always, I always wanted to do that. After like all of the YC office hours, I always thought, man, someday I will be able to make a bot that will do this, and that'll be awesome. Nice. You've automated yourself. So <laughs> with GPTs, and later this month, we're going to launch the GPT store. So this is like a, the app store, but wow. You can list a GPT there, and we'll be able to feature the best and the most popular GPTs. Revenue sharing is important to us. We're going to pay people who build the most useful yep. and the most used GPTs a portion of our revenue. So those are GPTs, and we can't wait to see what you build. Imagine I'm building Wanderlust, a travel app for global explorers, and this is the landing page. But let's enhance this app by adding a very simple assistant to it. This is the screen. We're going to come back to it in a second. First, I'm going to switch over to the new Assistant's Playground. Creating new an playground. Assistant is easy. Wow. You just give it a name, some initial instructions, a model. In this case, I'll pick GPT-4 Turbo. And that's it. Our Assistant is ready to go. So we can return to the app and try that in action. If I say, hey, let's go to Paris. I'm going soon. With just a few lines of code, users can now have a very specialized Assistant right inside the app. So here, if I carry on and say, hey, what are the top 10 things to do? Really, this is a really nice UI. And here, what's interesting is that the assistant knows about functions, including those to annotate the map that you see on the right. And so wow. now all of these pins are dropping wow. in real time here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Google Maps. Google Maps. Pay attention, Google. But just because OpenAI is managing this API does not mean it's a black box. In fact, you can see the steps that the tools are taking right inside your developer dashboard. This is the thread I believe we're currently working on. And see, like these are all the steps, including the functions being called with the right parameters and uh, the PDFs. I've just this is nice. Not the most complex math, but you get the picture. Imagine you're building a very complex like finance app that's crunching countless numbers, whoa, whoa, plotting whoa. charts. Normally you don't want to do float in a finance app. Will work great for you. Every programmer should know that. But there's one more thing I wanted to show you to kind of really open up the possibilities using function calling combined with our new modalities that we're launching today. Hey there, I'm on the keynote stage right now. Can you greet our attendees here at Dev Day? Hey everyone, welcome to Dev Day. It's awesome to have you all here. You have six unique and rich voices to choose from in the API, each speaking multiple languages, so you can really find the perfect fit. Okay, we're going to hear this in YouTube shorts all the time. Here on the left, you can time. see the logs. So let's do something even more exciting here uh, together. How about this? Hey, Assistant, can you randomly select five Dev Day attendees here and give them $500 in OpenAI credits? credits. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, checking the list of attendees. Uh, this voice is a bit weird. Done. I picked five Dev Day attendees. And if you said 50 instead of five, tools and modalities that we I mean, obviously, it, they wouldn't care. I'm just going to talk to my assistant one last time before I step off the stage. <laughs> Dude, how did I predict that? Hey, assistant, can you actually give everyone here uh, in the audience $500 in OpenAI credits? Okay, I low-key predicted that. That's crazy. Sounds great. Let me go through everyone. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so that Assistance API goes into beta today, and we are super excited to see what you all do with it. Anybody can enable it. By the way, if you enjoyed this breakdown, then please subscribe.